What's going on guys and welcome to what you missed this week in science. Did you know that when you drop ice down a hole made of ice, it makes a very weird sound? Because I personally didn't, but apparently if you take a block of ice and drop it down a very very long hole, this one specifically being in Antarctica, it makes a very interesting sound. Check it out. This hole is over 400 feet deep, and the reason for its strange sound is mainly due to the ice reverberating against itself creating a particular sound pattern, which really just tickles the ears. Here's another angle of the same hole with a different piece of ice. As the ice gets closer and closer to the bottom of the hole, the sound gets more and more guttural due to the amount of reverberations it takes to get all the way to the top. That's why you hear a big bass sound at the end of it as all of the sound pressure is released all at once. Have you ever wondered what atoms actually look like in real life? I know you've seen those scientific pictures of atoms in your textbooks and everything, but what does an actual atom look like in real life? Well, now we can actually see this with electron microscopes. We can see two atoms bonding, so this is pretty much how molecules of all kinds of substances form, including that of water. These two dots right here represent the atom shell of electrons, and this forms the atomic bond. No, not atomic bomb, atomic bond. And while we're on the topic of atoms, here's the first ever picture of an individual atom that we've ever taken. So anvils are pretty heavy, right? I mean, when we think about anvils, you know, they're made of a lot of heavy materials, mostly made out of iron. If you were to try to drop an anvil in water, it would sink right to the bottom instantly. But what happens when you drop it in liquid mercury? Liquid mercury is one of the only substances that could be in liquid form that's actually denser than iron, and that's why an anvil will actually float. I'll just let it tip over. There it is. It's floating. Oh, it's hard to push down. <laughs> oh, that, that was great. It's pretty mind boggling. I'm gonna leave you guys off with a nice visual demonstration of the entire topography of Earth, including the bottoms of the oceans. It gives you a nice perspective of just how deep the deepest points of the oceans truly are, and what it would look like if all of the water slowly evaporated from the surface. Thanks for watching What You Missed This Week in Science, and I'll see you guys next time.